What's happening guys? This is going to be a super fast video. We're going to be going over the top five engineering degrees in 2021. Now I did the same video uh, late 2019, early 2020. And of course, a lot has happened since then. One of the biggest events in all of modern history happened. And so of course, things have changed a little bit. I've also done a lot more research since then. And I've personally worked with many more people. So I have not only the theoretical the statistical advice, but a a lot more practical advice as well. So this is going to be a real fast one, guys. And before we get into it, make sure you gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and also check out my course down below. It's the College 101 course. It has been getting insane reviews. People absolutely love it. It will change your life when it comes to picking the best possible college degree for you, shaving off sometimes up to three years of the time it takes for you to get a college degree and doing it all in as fast as possible with the least amount of time, effort, and money. But with that being said, let's jump right in with number five on the list, which is aerospace engineering. Now, all engineering degrees are very difficult. Aerospace is one of the most difficult ones that attracts super smart people. Now, during the pandemic, this is an industry that did get rocked pretty hard. I talked about that in my stocks video where I went over the best stocks. It is an industry that got hit very, very hard. However, I expected to make a strong recovery. But with that being said, aerospace engineering and the types of jobs you might go into are one of those degrees, unfortunately, where it can be very up and down. You know, there might be a ton of jobs when a war breaks out and then a bunch of them go away uh, when a pandemic happens, right? So it's very up and down, almost like the energy industry. But with that being said, this is a very high paying degree. It's the second highest paying engineering degree behind petroleum engineering. I'd say one of the downsides to this one is it is not as flexible as most of the other ones on this list. But with that being said, if you're someone who is passionate about things that fly through the air. Uh, like my dad, for instance, he got an aeronautical engineering degree back in the day because he was a pilot. He was very passionate about that. Then this can be a fantastic choice for you. Next on the list is going to be mechanical engineering. And this is kind of like the jack of all trades of engineering degrees. One thing that's great about mechanical engineering is it is so flexible, probably the most flexible engineering degree. And so if you know you wanna be an engineer, but you're somebody who's not sure what you wanna do and you just want a degree that's gonna set you up for entering pretty much any industry out there, mechanical engineering might be the way to go for you. Uh, when it comes to pay, it's pretty solid, very flexible, lots of demand. There's a lot of other engineering degrees where they're going for a specific career, where if you got a mechanical engineering degree, you could still go for those same careers. However, I think there are better options on the list if you have a good idea of what types of careers you're going for. Another degree that's very flexible, but it's even higher paying than mechanical engineering is going to be number three on the list, electrical engineering. Not as flexible as mechanical, but still a ton of opportunity out there. Very high paying, one of the highest paying engineering degrees. I'm not going over the statistics in this video because I've already done that so many times in other videos. I feel like a broken record. Um, you know, you can look at all these videos because I literally made videos for these exact degrees. So you can check that out. Uh, lots of other opportunities and resources on my channel. But yeah, also very good demand. Um, another great thing about electrical engineering engineering is it's a great segue into getting into the technology industry. And in my opinion, the tech industry has the most opportunity out of any industry out there. Also, technology industry jobs tend to have very high job satisfaction. There's a lot of companies, for instance, that treat their employees very well. And that's why you see them score very high on things like glassdoor.com year after year when it comes to employee job satisfaction. On top of that, if you go into the technology industry, it's one of the best industries for you to start your own business. So there's just a lot of opportunity, very flexible, great choice for the right person. Another great one to get into the technology industry would be number two on the list, and that is computer engineering. This one pays even better than electrical engineering, but it's even easier for you to get into technology. Now, a lot of the time people will study computer engineering, you know, the hardware side of things, get a really good uh, feel on that, but they end up working with software. So they might end up becoming a software developer, for instance, but their background in hardware is going to help them tremendously. They're going to have a lot more insight on how devices work. And if you can have the hardware side of things and the software side of things down, 
that's that's game over. So yeah, computer engineering, solid option. I believe it's the third highest paying type of engineering degree. Lots of opportunity. Same thing with electrical, where you're probably going to end up working in the technology industry, which is fantastic. But there's one on the list that's even better. That is number one, software engineering. Now, I will say here, I've gotten comments about this before. In some countries, computer science and software engineering are basically the same thing. And there are a lot of similarities there. So, you know, if you get a software engineering degree, that is because you are trying to become a software engineer. Now, I've made videos where I compared the differences between like software developer and software engineer. And to be honest, there is a ton of overlap. But technically speaking, a software engineer is more like an architect where you design the building itself, whereas a software developer is the person who actually builds the building. But with a lot of companies you work for, you'd basically be doing both no matter what position you were in. But with that being said, you know, this is the new meta, as I said before, uh, you know, software engineering, software development, computer science, um, it's going to change the world and it already has, but it's going to keep changing the world. This is going to be the most solid career you can get into in the next 40 years. Automation is coming. Technology is expanding just more and more rapidly. It's amazing uh, what's coming down the line in the next five to 10 years. So yeah, this one is fantastic. Uh, great pay. It's only going to get better. It offers you so many opportunities in terms of no matter what type of lifestyle you want to live, whether you want to have kind of like a remote job and travel the world, you can do that. Do you want to work for a very prestigious company and have an opportunity to move up into positions where you can make north of $500,000 a year? year, you can do that. Do you want to work a really cushy job where you're making good money, but it's not all that hard, but you get a lot of perks and benefits because these companies basically spoil their employees? You can do that. Or do you want to start your own business eventually and have a really good background and an ability to put yourself in a position where you're probably going to be successful? You can do that as well. Just a lot of opportunities for these. And honestly, the top three on this list um, there's just a lot of opportunities for them in general, but I would say this one is the best. A lot of similarities with the top three on this list though. So that is my list for you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.